Welcome back to your latest industry recap, and today is certainly an episode on Boeing. So buckle in, we've got some fantastic news actually. Firstly, beginning with Boeing looking set to secure another massive new commercial aircraft order, this time from the country of Japan. A prospective deal would include a staggering 100 aircraft. However, exact specifics were not disclosed, nor has the deal been formally finalized. Therefore, at this stage, the aircraft airline delivery schedule and more still need to be confirmed. All that we know is there is a planned order for 100 planes. A new purchase of this scale comes following Japan striking a trade deal with the United States that'll see tariffs reduced on auto imports. This a successful result and will help limit additional costs on the country. With the continued threat of tariffs since the beginning of 2025 coinciding with the change of administration in the United States, many countries have been left scrambling to really come to the table with the president to secure revised trade agreements. Failure to secure these agreements in time means exports become less competitive. Additionally, it reduces overall market access, leads to economic stagnation, and it can also impact a country's relations with the United States. Ultimately, American plane maker Boeing has stood as one of the major winners of the various trade agreements that are in the process of being signed between the United States and a respective country. For this part, I'll certainly focus in more on Asia. Once agreement are signed more often than not as part of these. There are deals for new commercial aircraft included that contribute to the manufacturer's backlog. Already, there have been firm discussions surrounding the upcoming confirmation of a contract involving the Boeing 777X, which is expected to come from Indonesia, valued at USD 19 billion, potentially including up to 50 planes. Although the makeup of this contract has yet to be disclosed as well, based on comments from the president and latest reporting, the 777X an upcoming long-haul jet appears to play a fundamental role in this contract. The likely party to take up the offer of the 777X will be Garuda Indonesia, who even before the signing of this trade deal had been very keen on purchasing new commercial aircraft to expand their fleet to over 100 units. In fact, achieving a total fleet of 150, they feel is pivotal to making sure that their international network receives adequate connectivity and also enables the enhancement of their presence across existing and new markets. Garuda Indonesia does fly the Boeing 777, however, it is yet to officially move forward with the commitment for a dedicated replacement. And even they fly the A330neo, some may argue that they lack a high-capacity jet in their makeup, so that's why some interest in the 777X, even the 787 has been reported, and why you'd say it makes sense. And it's not just Garuda Indonesia, nor that of Japan seeking new planes. Thai Airways was also part of a new trade agreement, with the country looking to purchase as many as 80 new planes from the American manufacturer. The exact specifics on the deals we are still awaiting confirmation on, but it's a very busy period for the American plane maker where their backlog should only increase on multiple of their commercial aircraft programs. Over to the next story, and deliveries for the 737 MAX are actually expected to increase for specific airlines as light at the end of the tunnel becomes a firm reality. One of the industry's newest airlines and one of the more ambitious car NASA Air, based in India, wants to rapidly develop its single aisle fleet and grow its market share tenfold. Data supports Akasa Air's bold claim that the country will experience demand growth over the coming years, reaching significant levels. But to make this possible, more aircraft and more airlines will be required. Akasa Air, upon its launch, heavily committed to Boeing to power its fleet for the long term and selected the 737 MAX with that series' operating metrics deemed ideal for the phase of growth that they were set to undertake. However, while no airline launch is easy, it ultimately does no favours with fresh challenges that are also hurting them, such as those related to the delivery of the plane to power the company's launch. For Akasa Air, the delivery delays of Boeing planes has been critical, as it has disrupted recruitment and growth plans, leading to internal frustrations from not just executives, but also employees. Commencing service a handful of years ago, an order for over 200 of the MAX planes have been placed. However, in terms of the fleet now, it's far from the final figure. It's more hoped that all units will be delivered by 2032, that obviously subject to change. What has been holding Akasa Air back is its reliance on Boeing during a challenging period. 
characterized by those delays, forecasting difficulties and output rates that are not sufficient to work through the backlogs. Despite public frustrations emerging from Akasa Air's bid to grow, there is renewed optimism. The Indian carrier says that deliveries of the 737 MAX they're believing will now increase in the coming years, above what they were planning, as Boeing starts to see the fruits of their labor over the last 18 months. Those last 18 months have presented challenge after challenge, largely underpinned by an increased oversight from the Federal Aviation Administration and a cap on the maximum production rate of the series every month. With planned deliveries at the time of signing, which did not account for the production caps, quality concerns and groundings across the recent period, Boeing has been unable to meet demand and adhere to its previously agreed upon timelines with airlines, only blowing everything out tenfold. Over to the final story. And Alaska Airlines has published its second quarter results ending June 30, 2025, and took the time to formally confirm additional purchases of Boeing planes. With Hawaiian Airlines now part of the Alaska Airlines group, the latter has increased importance on a global scale and has access to a larger fleet of planes. Those additional aircraft are not just more of the same for Alaska Airlines, the takeover has given it access to wide-body jets for the first time, with the 787 part of the Honolulu-based airlines fleet composition. Under what is known as Alaska Accelerate, Seattle will become a gateway for worldwide connectivity, and the utilization of types such as the 787 for the long term will be crucial to achieving all long term objectives, which include a presence in Europe and beyond. During the recent quarter, Alaska Airlines said that a new 787 Dreamliner base would be established in Seattle to the surprise of no one, and this was accompanied by a commitment for five additional 787 9s to help support international national growth. In addition to growing a commitment to the 787, Alaska Airlines also said they would exercise options for Boeing 737 MAX jets. That included 12 of your high capacity and uncertified 737-10s, with deliveries expected through 2028. Those second quarter results also provided a space where the airline could discuss some other things that had occurred over the quarter. And to give you a bit of a recap, they agreed to sell 12 of their 737-900s. Additionally, they initiated a cabin refresh process across their fleet in an effort to expand overall premium and first class seating. This is not only increases your travel experience on the customer part, but it raises revenue across each flight. These cabin refurbishments undertaken by the airline are expected to become completed by 2026, ensuring no delays in the process or in acquiring key parts from established supply chains. Expansion was also at the forefront as Alaska Airlines has launched service to Tokyo from Seattle. This marks the first long-haul destination from Seattle for the group, and we also had that confirmation that in May 2026, they would begin service between Seattle and Rome, the first transatlantic service. It's all happening at Alaska Airlines. They are certainly going to be one to watch. Keen to hear your take down below in the comments. Thanks for your support. Take care, do be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow for your next industry recap. And we'll fly.